Russia claims we withdraw from our grain deal after attack on our fleet. There was an attack on their fleet 4.30 this morning. I'll leave the link to the article for you. There's a lot of videos, the actual drone footage from there. And uh, also, um, well, you'll see there's about six or seven videos on there. Um, one of the last ones says that um, uh, the temporarily occupied Sevastopol, according to various sources, the explosions damaged several, several ships from the Russian Black Sea Fleet. They say that among them is the frigate Admiral Makarov, which became the flagship after the loss of Moscow by the Russians. So that has been damaged as well. Now, so this is developing news for which Moscow officially denounces Britain again. Now, earlier I posted a video, Russia officially accused Britain of sabotaging the Nord Stream pipelines and the Crimea Bridge. And now they're saying that Britain did this again, attacking the Black Sea Fleet in the Baltic. Russia is suspending its participation in the agreement to export agricultural products from Ukraine ports following the attacks on its fleet in Crimea the Ministry of Defense announced, according to the TASS news agency of Russia, the attack was carried out by drones. They were sea drones. They were flying over the surface of the water under the instructions of the British and resulted in damage to the Russian frigate Admiral Makarov. The Russian Defense Ministry also reported that four naval drones were destroyed by the Black Sea Fleet, while another three were destroyed closer to the coastline. Minor damage was done to a naval mine layer and a dam along the bay. You can watch the videos from today's attack on the Russian ships in this uh, article I'll leave below for you. A few minutes earlier, the same agency carried statements by Agricultural Minister Dmitry Patrushev, who reportedly said that Russia is ready to supply 500,000 tons of grain to poor countries in the next four months with the help of Turkey. Moscow claims that only 3% of food exports from Ukraine have gone to poor countries, while half of the shipments were destined for Western countries. The Black Sea Grains Initiative was signed July 22nd in Turkey, and since then several million tons of wheat, maize, sunflower oil, oats, canola, and soybeans have been exported from Ukraine. So all this is going to stop now. Um, this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.